you were watching a struggle during a traffic stop that started with a broken tail light and turned into a deadly encounter with a metro officer down and a gunman killed in a matter of seconds. The confrontation captured on one of the brand new police body cameras. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for having us in tonight. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Jessica Moore. The intense video, a reminder that officers are forced very frequently to make split second decisions every time they go out on a call, no matter how routine those calls may seem. It's our top story tonight at 11. News Freeze Kelsey Thomas is live outside Metro headquarters and Kelsey the body cam footage also reveals the impact of additional training. Yeah, exactly. Training that went into place because of an investigation by the Department of Justice. Training that you can now see on these body cams. What you're about to see is a man who is very agitated because of this ongoing dispute with his wife and also the dangers that our officers face every day. All right. Step out of the car, sir. No. Sir, I'm not going to ask you again. Step out of the car. I'm going to shoot myself. Do you have a gun? Yes, yeah, stop, stop, stop. No, no. Push the key, push the key. It's a police shooting seen from the perspective of a body camera strapped to the chest of Officer Carlos Luna. A traffic stop for a broken taillight Friday escalates when 54-year-old James Tadora reaches for his gun. He pointed that gun at Officer Luna's head and he pulled the trigger. Luckily for Officer Luna, Tadora's weapon did not have a round in the chamber. Under Sheriff Kevin McMahill says Tadora fires again, hitting rookie officer Evan Hogue. Another officer fires three shots, killing Tadora. We, right we were very fortunate to not have an officer killed in the line of duty. Metro Police is improving the number of times its officers use deadly force. Police shootings peaked at 25 in 2010, getting the attention of the Department of Justice. Changes were made, and they're working. Officer training here now catching the attention of other departments across the country. We take what we learn from these uh, officer-involved shootings and feed it right back into that training environment that we have. This was just the fourth officer-involved shooting for Metro so far this year. Reporting live tonight from Metro headquarters, Kelsey Thomas, News 3.